Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Coin Realm. In today's episode, we have a truly beautiful hammered coin from the reign of King Henry VI. However, the story that this coin hides within is one filled with war, bloodshed, and murder. A time when no one was safe, a time of anarchy, the War of the Roses. Henry VI was born on December 6, 1421, at Windsor Castle. He was the only child and heir of the famous warrior king who conquered France at the infamous Battle of Agincourt, King Henry V. On September 1, 1422, Henry succeeded his father, and on the death of his maternal grandfather, the French King Charles VI, Henry was proclaimed King of France. Henry then had many Lord Protectors who ruled on his behalf, as the King was a mere infant when he was coronated. Although Henry's minority never officially ended, from 1437 he was considered old enough to rule by himself. In some written records the King was described as a strong-willed and head-on boy, yet as he grew older those qualities deteriorated into a more quiet and sombre personality. In a bid to achieve peace with France, in 1445, he was married off to Margaret of Anjou, a niece of the French Queen. Despite this, Henry's incompetence as a military, or in fact as any leader, had England lose Normandy to the French, and by 1453, he had lost the remaining English-held lands to France. After the loss of France, perhaps because he realised all his father's work had been lost, Henry fell into a catatonic stupor. He showed no signs of awareness for the next year. He never left his bed and was very ill. Many different powers started to scramble to have the king by their side, for since the king lacked any leadership and for this particular year any normal function, he became a mere puppet. Whoever controlled the king? controlled England. Hence began the War of the Roses. The contenders for power were the Lancastrian Edmund Bouthal, Duke of Somerset, and Richard, Duke of York, a cousin of the king whose claim to the throne can be argued was even stronger than Henry's. Henry and Margaret had a son, Edward, who was proclaimed heir to the throne. Somerset, a good ally of Margaret, upheld this decision whilst Richard of York's opinion was sour. After a series of violent battles, Somerset was killed and Margaret with her son fled to the north, whilst the king was captured by Richard of York and York became Lord Protector. However, his victory was short-lived as he went after Margaret in the north with a much smaller army. His ego was his downfall. He was captured and executed. Although Richard of York was killed at Wakefield on December 30th, 1460, and Henry was recaptured by the Lancastrians at the Second Battle of St. Albans, York's heir was proclaimed King Edward IV in London on March 4th. Henry fled with his wife and son to Scotland, returning to England in 1464 to support an unsuccessful Lancastrian rising. He was eventually captured July 1465 near Clithrow in Lancashire and imprisoned in the Tower of London. A quarrel between Edward IV and Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick, led Warwick to restore Henry to the throne in October 1470, and Edward fled abroad. But he soon returned, defeated and killed Warwick, and destroyed Queen Margaret's forces at Tewkesbury. The death of Prince Edward in the battle sealed Henry's fate, and he was murdered in the Tower of London soon afterward. The king himself may have been England's worst monarch, but his coinage certainly produced some amazing coins, like this Calais mint groat. Calais was an English-held territory in France, which had been minting coins for centuries. This groat is an annulet issue, meaning you can see the ring dots around the coin. The coin was minted in Calais between the years 1422 and 1461. And this particular growth that I got the chance to film is in a truly beautiful condition. Thank you all for joining me today to learn about this coin's fascinating but troubled past. I hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it, 
and if so, it would be great if you could leave a like and hit that subscribe button to never miss a future upload. And be sure to leave a comment down below to tell me what you thought of today's video, and if you have any suggestions or coins you would like to see me do a video on. See you all next time, goodbye.